I often get asked, Candice, how do I send emails through Gmail? I've had videos before, but I thought, let's do an updated one so you can see the exact thing that's going on now in 2020. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how I set up an email. So come look over my shoulder and I will show you how. All right, so the first step is to go under edit preferences for those desktop users out there. And then you're going to go over here to send forms. Then you're going to go under my preferences, click on web mail, and then click add and type in the email address, especially if you're using Gmail that you want to use. Mine is blurred out just because um, this is my actual Gmail. And and so I blurred it, but you're gonna type it in. You're gonna choose your provider as Gmail, and then you're gonna do your enhanced security as recommended and click okay. So what happens now inside QuickBooks, they're always changing it. As soon as I create this video, they'll probably change it again, is you're going to need to log in to Intuit and you're gonna put in your username and password, and then you're gonna click next. It's gonna take you to this screen and this is your Gmail. So if you've signed in, to QuickBooks to continue as desktop, you're gonna type in your email. This will be your Gmail email. It's ideal if both your Intuit email and your Gmail are the same one, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So let me see what it says. Couldn't sign in, the browser or app may not be secure. Okay, so I'm trying to sign in with my, I started to do this on my own. I thought you guys are always asking me, so I should create one. So let's click this and click, I'm gonna click okay. I'm going to click next. Couldn't sign in. I want to try something different. Let's try this without. Sometimes you just have to try different things. Oh, interesting. Look, as soon as I took off recommended, it worked just fine. So I took off enhanced security. I took that off and it put in the Gmail settings and it said, okay, so let's try to email out an invoice and see what happens. That's why I like to do these updated videos because that always change in things on me. So this is a sample that I did and let's just click send and see what happens. Does it send it? Okay, now ask me for my password. This is going to be your Intuit. No, this can be your Gmail password. Not the Intuit one, your Gmail. Okay. If your credentials are correct, please follow these steps. Let's see what it says. I've used um, apps before on a previous video. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do it anymore, but let's see. If the app or site does not meet the security standards, uh, Google might block anyone trying to sign in to your account, which is what it was doing before to help, help you with hackers. Use an app password. Let's do the password. So an app password is a 16 digit passcode that gives a non Google app permission to access your Google account. So let's do that. Sign in using an app. So sign in with your app using a two step verification. I like that. Create a two step, which I already actually have on my account. I highly recommend it. If you don't create and use an app password. So go to your Google account select security. So let's do that under sign in in Google. Okay. Let's walk through these steps. I'm going to do this actually from my directly to my Gmail. Give me one second. Let me log in and then I'll show you my screen. How about that? So I clicked on manage my Google account. Let me show you what I did again. So I clicked on the picture, my face, and clicked manage your Google account. Oh, here we go. App password. So I clicked on security here on the left. For right now, that's where this is at. You always gotta kind of look around. App password, it says none. I gotta log back in. Select the app custom name other. I'm going to type in QuickBooks and click generate. It's going to give me a password. Mine is going to be blurred out so you can't see it, but it's right here in the yellow box. Okay. We're going to go back over to QuickBooks now. All right. So we're back into QuickBooks. We copy that code. We come over here, we paste it and we click okay. 
and let's see what happens. Yay! Successful! So if before what you tried to do didn't work, this is the newest updated how to make sure Gmail works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up and um, let me know if this helped you with your QuickBooks and that you got to send out your email that you were trying to do that you wanted to pull your hair out over. I get it because doing this just to show you how to as a practice can be frustrating. So if you would like more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. And I do send out tips and tricks through email down below or up above. I will put a link. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Trust me. And I will see you in our next QuickBooks tips and tricks. Have an amazing day. Bye.